Hey guys, my name is Jay Stone, Master Brand Strategist, and today's tutorial is gonna teach you how to create that outer glow on your photos using Canva. Let's get into it. Okay guys, now let's look at how we get this fancy outer glow on your photos inside of Canva. Now this used to be something that you could only do inside something like Photoshop, but Canva, there's a way to do it. So I'm gonna create a YouTube thumbnail just because I like YouTube thumbnails. I create tons of those. And so I'm just gonna go in and get me YouTube thumbnail template. And of course I like these because they already have the dimensions and they already have a layout that you can kind of work from. And so that's super fun. Now, again, I am using Canva Pro. So that means that I get options to use tons of images. And I really love the option that I don't have to buy stock photos and then upload them, you know, in my feed, it's already there. So I'm going to do a travel thumbnail. So if you take your uh, image and drag it, it'll just replace the image that's already there. As soon as you put it right where the little square is, right up in the corner. I'm gonna do that one more time so you guys can see it. If you drag your image right to the corner, it pops it in directly, okay? Now, because I want this image to be a background image because I'm gonna put my actual photo on top of it, I'm going to simply change the effects on it. So I'm gonna select this image, right? And I think I'm going to actually do a filter on this image and just do street. I like it to look background, okay? So again, I went to filter and street. All right, now I'm gonna add in my brand colors. And again, this is a feature that we can do inside of Canva Pro. Okay, I'm going to ungroup the feature just so that I can simply change the color. So I'm going to select this. You see the pink pops up in the little color palette and I'm going to change it to my brand color. I'm going to do this blue, but look right down here at the bottom. It gives you the option in Pro to click the change all, right? And it'll change everything, all the stuff, this, all the uh, elements that are this color, okay? So you see right down here. And then I don't have to change individual elements, right? Makes life much, much quicker. And I'm actually going to remove this and I'm going to put in one of my own logos here. Again, it's about creating the branded backdrop. So there we go. Well, I might make this change to one of my other brand colors. Let's do the orange. Okay, that makes it easier for now. Now let's go to our photos. Now, again, a lot of these elements are only available in Canva Pro. So you really wanna upgrade if you haven't already upgraded. All right, here we go. And so now that we know we're gonna travel, we're gonna go to select the image and go to effects and background remover, which is by far my favorite tool. Um, I go ahead and bring in my corner so that when I select it, it's just a nice, neat selection. And then I'm going to take the corners and resize the image so it kind of sits right at the bottom. I'm gonna crop this down at the bottom so it's a nice, neat, clean edge at the bottom. So now that I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, this background image is still seems to be conflicting. So I'm going to change the transparency on this background image. I'm gonna select the image. Top right corner is the transparency tool. And I'm gonna take that background just a little bit so that my image is the more visible image. All right, so now let's look at how we get the outer glow. We've done the cutout, let's do the outer glow. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna copy the image. I'm gonna click the copy, the duplicate, and move it out of the way. Now, I'm gonna go and take this and I go to the adjust, and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the brightness because we're gonna mess this image completely up, right? I'm gonna increase the saturation. I'm gonna give it maybe a yellow tint, and I'm gonna create a blur. And then I'm gonna make this slightly bigger. And then I'm gonna take this copied image and drop it right on top. And now you see you've got the outer glow to the image. Now you can make this outer glow as big or as small as you want by simply adjusting the blur. And then um, I'm gonna select them both and you can actually, I'm gonna select both of them by dragging over the boxes. So I just took my mouse and simply dragged it and it automatically selected both of them. I can group this 
And then I'm going to position this and send it to the back, send it backward just a little bit so we can get this text on top. Okay. Actually, I think I like it better on the bottom. And this is really a lesson in playing around with your design just to see if it does what you need it to do. So again, I hit a select. I'm gonna make this just smaller because I just feel like it's competing too much with the outer glow. And there you have it. That's really all I do in the outer glow. I'm gonna keep this edge clean. And then I'm going to rename and transport my image. So that's it for me. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Happy branding. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and you're going to have lots of fun putting that glow around your photos. If you want to see more tutorials like this, follow me on YouTube at JStone TV. That's J-A-I-S-T-O-N-E TV on YouTube. We'll see you soon.